Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have a 3v3 on Rev Winter. Rev, Resev, I'm not sure how you say it, but the winter version of this map that we've casted before. <laughs> so anyways, our heroes today are going to be in no particular order, order that is. Uh, starting off with the player that submitted the, uh, the replay, thank you very much, and that is TFL Johnny Rico. Johnny Rico with his Roughnecks, his allies being uh, the player in Teal, and that is going to be BF, three quarters, <laughs> 666 Hell Rider from Hell, and he is going to be the Teal colored player, and his last ally in the yellow is going to be Mister. That's it, Mister. So, there you go. His enemies, or their enemies that is, for the Soviets, are going to be the German forces led by Plofi Rommelberg in the red, who is currently going to the left-hand side. His uh, second-in-command in the pink, or purple, or, uh, I don't know, fuchsia maybe? Uh, that would be Dr. Goebbels. Gables? Goebbels? Uh, he will be advising him because he's a doctor. He knows stuff. And lastly, we have the orange player known as the Brat Will Never Die. These consist of the German forces that will be opposing the Soviets in the winter version of Rev. So, as with uh, games that are not 1v1, I will not be having the overlay showing unit production, and we will also not have the overlay showing, well, anything at all. We will just refer to them as the German and the Soviet forces. And there we go. One thing we will have is this. There you go. So that at least you can see the timer and the score. So anyways, we see an engagement here nearly in the center victory point. We have conscripts by both Johnny and Hell Rider engaging against an MG42 and a Grenadier, which are Dr. Goebel's uh, forces. MG42 is getting a little bit of a flank on it. The conscripts do try to run out of the arc of fire, but they get caught in the open. Second conscript squad uh, from Hell Rider does manage to land a nice Molotov on top of the MG42, forcing it away. Conscript squad is down to two men, so it is forced off of the field. The other conscript squad does get pinned down by the second MG42, and is also being forced off of the field with a pioneer following up. Conscripts over here on the right hand side are still uh, suppressed. They're crawling through the snow. There is a Grenadier squad in the house still firing at them, so they're down to four men themselves. While Another conscript squad moves up to support, but there is two MG42s. One MG42 gets brought down to one man and is forced off of the field, while another MG42 is coming up on the right-hand side of that conscript squad. Down to two men, it is going to be forced off of the field, while only one lone conscript squad is left in the center point and is going to have to fully retreat to be able to stay alive. And there it goes. Another conscript squad coming into the victory point, but it is... Hesitant because it knows of the amount of firepower in the area. It is going to run into the arc of fire of this MG42 and it's going to open up straight on it. First burst doesn't actually manage to get a suppression and they manage to run out of the range of fire and continue on to the right. Moving on to the tactical map, we see that the Soviet forces have been pushed off to their side of the river for the most part. This lone squad right here by Johnny is moving behind them in enemy lines trying to see what it can catch, but for the most part, none of them are able to do much. Grenadier squad moving across the river down at one man, being forced away by a strong push here by Conscript Squad. That is four Conscript Squad mixed arms or combined arms from um, all three players right now. So we'll see how that moves up. Conscript Squad still behind him in the lines, harassing enemies, shooting at the retreating Grenadiers, and is going to engage a Pioneer over on the right hand side, jumping into that house, being quite a nuisance. We hear MG 42s opening up somewhere. This MG42 turned around to fire at the conscripts that are currently in the house, but they are well inside its cover, so they will not be harmed a lot by that MG42. MG42, though, it did set up in a very bad position, aiming at this conscript squad, and is now getting a flank by this second conscript squad by Hell Rider. Probably going to throw a Molotov right on top of it. There it goes. It's packing up. It's probably going to retreat down to one man. Very low in health. Can it actually take it out and get that squad? It sets up in the worst possible time. It is going to get taken out. It does hit retreat. Can it actually make it out alive? Looks like it's going to be able to make it out alive. There's a lot of German forces around, so the squads don't know exactly what to shoot at. Full retreat by the German forces for jo um, Rommelberg uh, on the right-hand side. Only one Grenadier squad holding the line. Left-hand side, we do have MG42s aplenty. That is three MG42s opening up on the conscript forces 
of Hell Rider. Hell Rider is fourth off of the field on one of them. Down to one man, but it will be able to make it out alive. Second squad is pinned down in the middle of the ice, getting shot at. Point blank range by Grenadiers, taking heavy losses. Down to two man, can he make it out alive? He is running through the ice. One more man goes down to the sustained fire, but manages to make it out alive. Over here on the right hand side, we do see some more conscript squads pushing, getting a nice little flank here on the forces. Three conscript squads all by Johnny Rico. Very, no, that's actually four conscript squads by Johnny Rico. Very nice concentrated force here. MG42 do flip around though and manage to get a shot at one of the conscript squads, getting suppressed. Another MG42 sets up near that tree and is going to open fire on all four squads. Molotov is probably going to be going down and we see here the wind up. There's the pitch and it lands right on top of the MG42. Instantly incinerating the uh, the ammo guy for the gunner and they pack up and retreat. Second MG42 is pushing to the north trying to get out of the range of the conscripts. Two conscript spots are forced off of the field in full retreat. Down to five man on the two remaining ones. But it is engaged by an MG42 and two grenadier spots so it looks like they're going to lose that out. And we also see an MG bunker set up on the field for the German forces. Probably one of Rumbleberg's. I'm pretty sure it's going to have its color so it's red so it should be Rumbleberg's. Down to one man on that conscript squad. Can it actually make it out alive? There is a two-man squad in front of it trying to draw the fire. Looks like they're actually going to be fine and manage to make it out alive. So very uh, nice push there by the German forces. Didn't actually accomplish much. They did uh, take the victory point for the meantime. So we can see that the uh, German forces are actually being ticked away right now. But for the most part, uh, they didn't accomplish much. And... Uh, and yeah, the German forces are now pushing again towards the other side of the river. We see an engagement on the left-hand side. Uh, combat engineers getting engaged by two grenadiers, so they're going to have to run away. And on the right-hand side, we see a strong push by the Brat will never die with his forces and Panzer grenadiers, plus a uh, flame half track for support, trying to take over the right-hand side of the map. We do see uh, the Mister, Mister Anonymous. Trying to put up a fight, but with the flamethrower half track coming into the mix, he is going to take a lot of damage. 18 8 goes down by Mr. onto the half track, but he is forced off of the field on that conscript squad down to three men. And all. 18 gun by the uh, Mr. does take a nice shot to the half track with that damage engine. He should be able to take a second shot and kill it off. Although there is a blizzard which limits his sight range, so it looks like it's actually going to be fine. Can it take a last shot? No. It takes a shot at the Panzer Grandiers. So unfortunately for the Mister, he doesn't have side range of the half track and doesn't manage to finish it off. A little bit further to the north, we have a Pioneer squad sneaking around behind enemy lines. It's going to be able to shoot at that Maxim Machine Gun, but the men, the extra men on the Maxim Machine Gun, should actually be able to finish it off uh, the uh, Pioneer squad quite handily. They are just as strong as conscripts. Essentially, they are conscripts. So they are not pushovers, especially the Pioneers. Bundle nade does go down on top of the AT gun by the Panzer Grenadiers. Does some good damage to the health, only manages to kill one guy. But a conscript squad is in support, plus the Maxim Machine Gun doing some very nice damage. And we see probably a mortar landing a shot there. Let me see if we can find it. Um, no, actually. One hit there. Can't actually see any mortar on the field. So something blew up around here. Maybe it was a mine. Uh... Yeah, maybe it was a mine. You can see the crater there. Doing some uh, hits to the uh, Panzer Grenadiers, but not finishing off the entire squad. So we see a very strong concentrated force of Soviet forces on the right-hand side. They might be preparing themselves for a nice push over here. Center of the map is pretty much vacated. We have a sniper from Johnny Rico just guarding the area, pretty much. And a conscript squad by Hell Rider for support. Left-hand side, we see some combat, uh, I mean some Grenadiers. Just uh, holding territory right here by the campfire. They don't want to move out in the blizzard. And there's some conscript squads by Hell Rider just uh, holding ground while the blizzard is passing. So most forces are not wanting to move right now while this is going on, which is okay. Do you see the uh, forces from Mister pushing out a little bit across the river during the snow? They are. Suffering from cold right now, but it doesn't look like they're suffering any man losses so far, but they need to start moving Otherwise, they will start freezing to death Left hand side we see a stronger push here by the conscripts of Hell Rider supported by the sniper of Johnny Rico We'll uh, put a uh, A hot key on that sniper just to keep an eye on it MG bunker does get laid down by Dr. Goebbels Covering this spot, forcing away both of those conscript squads, so they are going to need a little bit of stronger firepower push on the left-hand side to be able to break through. There is an AT gun there by Doctor, uh, I mean Hellrider, that is, sorry. 
which could move into the zone and take out that bunker, so we'll see if he tries to do that. In the meantime, we see the uh, Axis forces, the German forces, mostly concentrating on the right-hand side, although they are spread out, well, pretty much throughout the center. We hear something going down. Uh, artillery barrage by the AT gun of Mister going into that house, collapsing it completely, denying the German forces from being able to garrison a MG in there. So very nice. MG is going to set up across the river, or across the bridge, that is, or path, I guess you could call it, and uh, cover the approach. We do see all the German forces moving on the right-hand side, while at the same time, the uh, conscripts from uh, Mister push up to that house. The uh, storm is apparently breaking, and the German forces are now in a nice position for the push over here. Two pushes going simultaneously. On the left-hand side, we also see a strong push by a lot of Grenadier forces. That is four Grenadier forces. And on the uh, right-hand side, we see the forces of uh, the Broad Will Never Die. Two Panzer Grenadier squads just mauling the AT gun, taking it out completely. And uh, the MG-42 just continue to fire. Conscripts getting caught in the arc of fire of this MG-42. The uh, men that got out of position do go down. MG-42 does get flanked by this conscript squad, might be taken out, but there is a flamethrower half-track here from the broad that will force away that conscript squad. So all conscript squad pushed out of the field. Pretty much all the forces here on the right-hand side get pushed off for the Soviets. There is only a Maxim machine gun in this house trying to hold the line. This uh, entire approach has been barbed wire off by the uh, Soviet forces, so very nice there, forcing the uh, Germans to either cut the wire or use vehicles. Grenadiers are very uh, much forward. They are vet too, so they're able to take quite a bit of punishment. A Molotov lands right on top of them, forcing them away. One man catches fire with that Molotov and is now off of the field. SU-76 on the field for the German forces. We'll be able to provide some very nice uh, artillery barrages. We actually see one artillery barrage going down right now, trying to take out those pesky bunkers, it looks like. But it is apparently missing a little bit too wide. There it goes. One nice shot goes in there. MG42 was garrisoned in that bunker, so it's going to just move out. Bunker itself looks like it also has another MG42, so quite a bit of firepower in that bunker previously. But with both SU76 just barraging the bunker, it will go down in a matter of time, but the shots are flying a little bit wide, not doing sufficient damage. SU76 simply decides to just move on forward and will take direct shots, doing way more damage than the barrage can and will take out the bunker quite handily. Conscripts, though, in the open are getting pinned down by that MG bunker, so it needs to go down right now. There it goes. So these conscripts will be a little bit fine. Another MG bunker over here on the right-hand side needs to be taken out for the German Soviet forces if they want to be able to take that point. Although one conscript squad is quite out of its range and manages to capture that victory point. Left-hand side, we do see a Panzer IV going in for the flank on the SU-76. It will be able to get a nice flank on them and get some nice damage. But there is a support AT gun there by... Uh, Hell Rider that takes a nice shot on the Panzer IV, forcing it away. The SU-76 actually tries to pursue, doing a nice shot there, actually very nice penetration, but the SU-76 can't take the shots from the Panzer IV. Second shot goes in and clears it out, so a little bit of a misstep there by Hell Rider, but it was a nice attempt. It did a nice shot there by the, uh, by the uh, SU-76, but needed to just back off. So engagements all across the center, we do see the forces of Johnny Rico just falling back and retreating. Snipers across the river taking shots at the Grenadiers, just doing some nice hits there. It's uh, not bed one, so it hasn't got a lot of kills probably. Right hand side, we see uh, major engagements, shock troops, SU-76 opening up on a lot of German forces trying to take out those machine guns. Very nice shot lands there from the SU-76, clears out the uh, stolen AT gun for the German forces. And we have the uh, flamethrower half track moving up and probably going to try to clear out that Maxim machine gun. There is, though, that AC-76 that needs to worry about, and the forces are pushing up a little bit forward. So the half track is in a little bit of a pickle. Conscripts do URA forward, but it looks like they're going to URA for the... Oh, this is an actual stolen Maxim machine gun by the German forces. Molotov does land right on top of where it was, but it's already well out of its way. So the uh, Maxim will remain in German hands. Left-hand side, we see a major engagement going on. We have uh, Panzer Grenadiers very forward, but we also have Panthers on the field for the German forces, plus uh, Shreks on all their Panzer Grenadiers, making it so that any Soviet armor has a very, very tough time. Two Panzer force plus a Panther is a very strong push right now by the German forces in the center of the map. They're going straight on to all the masses of conscripts. Strafing run right on top of the forces of Johnny Rico gets them all pinned down. They're probably going to have to retreat if they want to get back on the fight. Although they might be able to break the pin and move out of the way before the next trading run comes. 
AT guns will be landing on top of the tanks. One actually crits and gets a damage on the engine. But with the support of the Panther, another Panther 4 plus an MG42 and a second MG42 coming for support, these constructs are not going to be able to do much against them. AT gun though is in a nice spot, taking some very nice shots at this Panther 4. Panther 4 is exposing his rear armor to that AT gun, so that is quite an error. Manages to dodge that shot, the AT gun misses, so very lucky to be alive for that Panther 4. Conscripts moving up and retreating out of the zone after that uh, strafing run did a number on them. And the uh, German armor does decide to move out of the way and back off. AT gun is now vet 2 doing some very nice damage to all troops doing an artillery barrage there and getting some kills on the infantry. But the German forces do manage to push all the way up north and are pretty much right outside the enemy gates. So um, that's pretty difficult there for the German, I mean Soviet forces. German forces all across the uh, left-hand side have pushed all the way up until their base. We have conscripts over here going to engage an MG42. There's a blizzard going on, so the uh, visibility is reduced. So the MG42 had no way of knowing that the conscripts were right there. Conscripts do Ura past the arc of fire of the MG42 and are going to continue to do some nice damage to it. On the uh, right-hand side, we do see the concentrated forces of the Soviets still holding this land. They have managed to keep it in their name, so they have one victory point to their name. It is two to one right now. Uh, the German forces have both, and the uh, Soviet forces are currently at about, what does it say there, 359? So yeah, 360 points to 440, so they are losing a little bit to the Soviet forces, but it's not that dire of a situation just yet. Start of the map, we see Grand Yushi moving around using the uh, limited visibility of the blizzard to cap territory. But we see a massive force of conscripts and even a sniper engaging that Grenadier sniper, though a little bit too close for comfort for to the uh, Grenadiers. Take one loss, but they do manage to rush out. German forces in a lot of trouble, taking a lot of fire from the concentrated forces of the conscripts, but they do manage to make it out alive with that better T2 that gives them gives them that uh, increased firepower, I mean increased armor, so they're going to be just fine. And because there's a blizzard, they don't need to run that far. Right hand side, we see a strong focus on anti-tank on those Panzer Grenadiers for um, the Broad Will Never Die, and he is supported by two MG42, so he has pretty much a nice mix there. They are freezing, however, so they need to get themselves into some uh, fire a camp over here would be nice. And pretty much this is how it's going throughout the game. When there is a uh, blizzard, all forces just uh, hunker down and move a lot slower. They don't go out capping that much. MG42 set up in the carcass of that SU-76. is going to try to open fire. Actually, it does. Ooh, a very sneaky bunker right here for the German forces. This is laid down by Rommelberg. Uh, it's right on the edge of this. Very nice angle. I, I, I like it there. SU-85 on the field for the Soviet forces is able to uh, do some nice damage to the bunkers and clear them out quite quickly. SU-85 SU is also able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against all this armor. There's only two of them right now, so they need to be a little bit wary of how they use them. But uh, otherwise, they're fine. SU-85 across the river taking some shots at the Panzer IV, doing some damage to its armor. Very nice, bringing it to about half health. Very nice usage of that extended sight. Takes a shot at the Flag Panzer, but doesn't manage to actually penetrate there. Or, I mean, it actually doesn't hit, so... Unlucky there. Right-hand side, we see a big push by the Broad Will Never Die. Going up against combined forces of Chalk Troops. Chalk Troops are doing quite a number on the, uh... On the Panzer Grenadiers, although, wow, look at those Panzer Fouls ripping the shreds. All those Panzer... I mean, all those Chalk Troops down to two men. Machine gun doing a, a lot of damage. This is a Maxim machine gun, a stolen Maxim. Nate goes down and clears out that Maxim machine gun. So it has a lot less to worry about. A lot of conscripts on the right hand side of those um, Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadiers fur the Mister to uh, retreat down to two men. Another Nate goes down. Uh, actually, that's a, uh, a smoke. Very nice. Blocking the line of sight of that MG42. The shock troops get right behind it and open up, doing a lot of damage down to one man. Can it actually make it out alive or can the shock troops kill it out? Looks like it's going to be fine and make it out alive. Molotov does land where the MG42 was. It was queued up for a long time ago, I guess, and manages to get out. Pack gun trying to do some damage to the AT guns. Ooh, very risky here. This, yeah, this guy's dead. Destroyed engine, and one more shot should actually finish it off. 
Maxim Machine Gun in the house doing some, uh, not damage, but it's still harassing the uh, Panzer Grenadiers on the right hand side. The, uh, the barbed wire did get cleared out, probably by a vehicle. And we have a T-70. Oh, it's going to town on the Panzer Grenadiers, and down goes an entire Panzer Grenadier squad for the broad will never die. And full retreat on all his forces. The uh, half track did get taken out. We have a mortar half track for the German forces doing some damage over here. And we have a Katusha barrage going down. And landing right on top of all the armor, pretty much. Very nice screen there. Oh, did it actually clear that out? Wow. Looks like that cleared out a panther. Whoa, very nice Katusha there. Oh my god, well that wasn't a Katusha, but wow, those artilleries are ripping the uh, German armor to shreds. Very nice usage there. Jesus Christ, even the choice of cachet. Wow. That is, I believe, standard uh, artillery, right? Can't actually see which one it is, but yeah, it looks like the standard artillery. And this is for a uh, Hell Rider. Look at that. It's already up to Vet 2 with all the damage that it's done. Very nice artillery barrages there. Clears out a lot of German armor. Do you see a uh, probably reconnaissance flight there? By the German forces of Dr. Goyberg. Grenadiers having to retreat in the middle of everything. Right hand side, we see a push from uh, German, I mean, uh, Soviet armor over on the right hand side. We do see Panzer Force going straight onto the right hand side to uh, do some nice damage to this. Uh, I think this is what, a KV 1? Yeah, I think it's a KV 1, if I'm not mistaken. AT gun by the uh, Soviet forces of Mister doing some nice damage to the Panzer Force. This Panzer IV is very low in health now. Panzer Grenadiers from um, the Broth Will Never Die are moving up onto the uh, KV-1, doing some nice damage with their Shreks, and down goes the KV-1. So, strong push there by Mister on the right-hand side, but didn't actually manage to break much. T-70 moving up, but we do see some type of off-map being called right on top of the AT gun and the uh, shock troops. What is it going to be? Cluster bombs? Well, it does clear off the... Uh, the AT gun and it kills off the uh, the shock troops. So quite unfortunate the losses there for. Oh my God! Actually, also hits the T70. Very nice. Another shot goes off and oh, that's almost a dead T70 right there. Left hand side of the map is pretty much in full possession of the uh, German forces. This bunker is still there, being quite annoying. And we see Su85 is going into the center of the map, probably going for a Soviet push. We'll see how that works out. More KV ones on the uh, field. So pretty much we see that Mister is almost in charge of uh, defending the right hand side approach in that victory point, while Johnny Rico and Hell Rider have to push into the center. And we now see the push coming. We see four conscript squads uh, from uh, combined forces going into the center. We have a bunker here. Pinning down one uh, conscript squad, the second one moving also into range. More conscript squads following up. More shock troops, SU 85s holding ground across the river. Snipers from Johnny Rico holding ground across the river as well. And Katusha Barrage is going down in the middle of a storm. Snipers moving up, trying to take out those Grenadiers. Can they actually finish them off? Very lucky Grenadier actually managed to make it out alive. Looks like some losses were suffered for Johnny Rico. Probably Grenadier, probably conscripts around here. And they have managed to push back the uh, German forces across the river, gaining some ground and getting that victory point. This bunker here is still... In the, in the zone being quite annoying. Mortar rounds landing right on top of where the snipers are. These snipers need to be rather careful now. And, well, since there's a blizzard going on, forces do tend to slow down and just hold ground. So, looking at the uh, map, we see pretty much not nothing going on. I mean, we have a uh, mortar half-track here. Katusha Barrage is falling right on top of 
where the bunker is, trying to do some damage to it. Not a bad choice. Could actually take out the uh, the mortar half track if one. If a lucky shot lands right on top of it. Artillery barrage also going on top of maybe it's the uh, the bunker. It is flying rather wide though. It's falling somewhere around over here. There goes the shot and yeah, it's landing around here. So it might be just that the shots are flying wide because it's you know too far away. Su 85 is crossing the uh, bridge and ripping a uh, Panzer IV to shreds quite instantly. When Su 85 does take about half damage, they now turn to engage a Panther. Panther is coming up on the left hand side, getting some nice side shots on the armor of that Su 85. Su 85 is turning to try to face that Panther. One goes down. Second Su 85 is open up on the Panther. It's now bed two, so it's going to do a lot of damage with its gun. Look at that damage go down. Needs some support though. There is another Su-85 in the victory point but it's having a very difficult time turning it has a damaged engine the other panther is very low in health could almost be taken out there's a tiger in the center of the map it's going straight forward trying to hunt down that Su-85 Su-85 opening up on it doing some very nice damage with its uh, with its uh, increased damage on its gun and down goes the tiger very nice Su-85 is opening up on the infantry now. There's still that panther over here crawling away, trying to stay alive. Su-85s are damaged on the engine, so it looks like they're going to be fine. And on the right-hand side, we see a uh, incursion into German territory by a KV-1. It's opening up on a Broombar, of all things. Broombar is going to go down to the KV-1, but it is supported by two Panzer Trek equipped Panzer Grenadiers, so the KV-1 is going to end up losing that fight. Broombar does do a nice shock, uh, crew shock shot onto the uh, KV-1. Slowing it down, and there it goes again. Takes some shot from the Panzer Shreks, but it manages to move out of the way. Center of the field still uh, controlled by the Soviet forces. We have shock troops, conscripts, trying to hold the line. It's being uh, harassed by more Panzer Grenadiers and a flag Panzer plus mortars. Mortar incendiary barrage falling right on top of the, uh, the victory point. And the flag Panzer are actually doing quite a number on that... Uh, on those conscripts, off map being called by somebody. What is it? Looks like it's a bombing run. Yeah, but tanks managed to move out of the way quite handily, and they are just fine. Panzer Grenadiers chasing off the infantry. We do have two snipers across from the river. Shots go down. Panzer Grenadiers down to one man. Can they actually make it out alive? They are retreating, and they make it out alive. Quite lucky there. Su-85 across the river. Ooh, taking a very nice shot there by something. What is it? Artillery gun over here. Yeah. Artillery gun for the German forces does a very nice shot on the uh, tanks over here. Does some damage, but they just simply back off and will be able to uh, reinforce. Katusha Barrage falling right on top of the victory point. They're trying to stop that cap from going down. They actually do force off away any uh, troops that were doing that. And we now see victory points are at about, what, 275 to 398. So still in the favor of the German forces for now. Big engagement on the right-hand side by Mr. and the Broad will never die. Maxim Machine Gun taking some direct shots from the broom bar. KV-1 opening up on Panzer Grenadiers. Oh my god, very nice bombing run there. Called in, and it takes out the broom bar completely, so the KV-1 is going to push on forward and try to get some kills. Although it just stops for there. There is a Panzer IV coming up. No, that's a Panther. So the KV-1 might be in a little bit of trouble there. But the uh, Panther is just simply holding ground, expecting German uh, Soviet forces to cross. So it looks like the German forces have been pushed off of the map for the most part back into their own sectors, pretty much three sectors. They still have control of the left hand side, nobody has actually tried to go over there in a long time. This uh, SU-85 over here might, yeah it is going to start clearing out that point so hopefully the Soviet forces will be able to start capping the left hand side again. And we see again another strong push on the center by shock troops and conscripts, artillery barrage and off maps being called in. This is probably a strafing run. Oh, no, it looks like it was an artillery barrage. 
No, it is strafing run. There it goes down. Pinning down the uh, Soviet forces in the victory point and forcing them off of the field. Conscripts on the left hand side do get harassed by Grenadiers and Panzer Grenadiers getting also forced off. Very nice shot there. What was that actually? That is a ISU, I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Doing incredible damage to those infantry, and look at that range. It's quite fantastic. Jesus Christ, look at that damage. That is going to be quite valuable for the Soviet forces, and the sniper executes one of the Vet 3 Grenadier squads. Very nice there. So again, the German forces get pushed off a little bit. Broad will never die is trying to use his own Panzer Grenadiers to go into the center, rather than focusing on the right-hand side. And the Katusha barrages are falling down right on top of them. Look at those rockets. Panzer Grenadiers just getting battered by everything. And they, they go on the retreat. So while the Soviets are still losing as far as victory points go, it looks like they actually have the advantage right now as far as forces go. We can see a much more concentrated uh, force here for the Germans, much more battered force. And the Soviets are all spread out around here. Conscripts again going into the center. They're going to try to recapture that victory point. They want to stop the bleed because they... Well, they're in a very uh, favorable position right now. Johnny Rico with three conscript squads in the center. She's capturing that point. They're probably going to start pushing to the left. Yeah, there they go. They are going to meet a MG42. And there we go. Some MG42 opening up on the conscripts. Suppressing one, suppressing the other. And Katusha Barrage right on top of that MG. There come the rockets. And there goes the MG-42, it's forced off of the field very nicely. This is our territory now. A lot of artillery pieces for the Soviet forces going on right now. We Not much of a push by Germans, there's the Panzer Grenadiers again from Brock going into the center trying to dislodge the Soviets. But let's take a count of how many uh, artillery pieces we have. We have that Katusha, we have an artillery gun over here, and this looks like it's the, uh, the one-shot artillery uh, piece. And we have an artillery gun over here, artillery gun over here. That's at least four. I'm not sure if we have any uh, any more, but four artillery pieces on the field. Not nothing to uh <laughs> to frown upon her. I don't know. Quite impressive. MG bunkers all over the place on the left hand side, being quite annoying to the Soviet forces, pinning them down, denying them the caps of these territories. So they do need something on the left-hand side, maybe an SU-85, and there it goes. So yeah, nice reaction there. Uh, yeah, they need to clear out those bunkers to be able to break over to the left-hand side and start putting even more pressure on the German forces. Conscripts in the center are being uh, stalked by Tigers and uh, Panzers, Panthers, but uh, they don't see them because of the blizzard, so they're quite fine right now. And we see the German forces pushing over to the left-hand side. They don't want to give up that territory that they've had for a long time now. And we see Flag Panzers, Panthers, Tigers, two of them going to the left-hand side. And they are going to meet uh, two SU, three SU-85, so they can actually be in a lot of trouble if they don't do this properly. Wow, amazing bombing run right there, right on top of all this armor. And down goes a Pan Panzer IV, I believe it was. And some uh, unit next to it, I don't know what it was. SU-85s do break the bunkers, allowing the capture of that victory point. And we have the German forces right here on the left-hand side, just lined up, probably trying to get a flank going, but the SU-85s do spot them. And here comes the German armor. Panther leading or spearheading the attack, taking some very nasty damage by those SU-85s. Three SU-85s opening on it at once, very low in health. One more shot should finish it off, and there it goes. One SU-85 does get taken out of control and falls down. Those are two Tigers still chasing those uh, SU-85s. SU-85 does hit Vet 2, getting that weapon damage. So it's going to start penetrating and doing a lot more damage to that Tiger. Backing off very nicely. SU-85 is getting surrounded by those Tigers and goes abandoned. SU-85 keeps on backing off, doing some nice damage to the pants, I mean to the Tigers. 
and with the support of the ISU, it's uh, doing a lot more damage. Can he actually finish off at least one Tiger? It looks like it's going to be able to. The ISU does bounce off, unfortunately. Another SU-85 in the area does finish off one Tiger, and there goes the damage of the ISU. Look at that nice damage. Incredible damage from that gun, but it's bouncing away. Keeps bouncing away. Can't stop bouncing. And that Tiger is going to go down as well. There it goes. Third Tiger follow-up with, with a two Flag Panzers for support. They are doing some nice damage to this uh, SU-85. SU-85 is bent three, so it's going to do incredible amounts of damage to that Tiger. Plus the other Tiger for support and that ISU. Oh, the ISU is supporting right now. It did move out of the way. No, no. Turn the SU-85 forward. Yeah, there it goes. Very nice shot. Actually bounced, but still. Smoke popped by the Tiger. Notices that it's not going to be able to win that fight, so it just backs off. Bombing run right on top of everything. Ooh, very nice damage to that SU-85. Actually, uh, what was it? Crew shock, I think. And there we go. The Tiger does get exposed to the SU-85. Takes a nice shot and destroys the engine. It is crawling, just crawling. But the SU-85 does get taken out by the Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadiers do refocus on the second SU-85 that is chasing the Tiger. But the Tiger is going to go down to that SU-85. SU-85 actually misses. It's a rookie. It's just got into the field. They're not quite used to the controls. There we go. Manages to land a nice shot. ISU taking some damage to those Panzer Grenadiers. One vehicle goes down over here, but it looks like it was a SU-85 as well. So a lot of losses, a lot of forces being lost uh, all over the place. Very nice push or attempt there of push by the German forces. They do push off the Soviet forces off of their land. And we do hear some very nasty artillery barrages going down in this area of the map. Conscripts do just uh, stand around at the edge of the uh, radius so they don't really mind that much. And here comes the push again. German forces are pretty much battered. We have a Panther on the, on the right hand side that's going to have to engage Two KV-1s. KV-1s open up on it, doing some very nice damage on the frontal armor. Panther doing relatively the same amount of damage to one of them, but, you know, it's two against one. Two bounces go there right against the Panther. And a bombing run right on top of the KV-1s. They get crew shocked, but uh, it's only about half damage, so it looks like they're going to be fine. Panther keeps on backing away. It knows that it cannot take, cannot take those two guys on at the same time. And the uh, KV-1 is just moving around. Center of the map, we have a major engagement. Artillery barrages falling everywhere. Contusion firing its rockets, landing on top of everything. MG42s and LMGs getting forced away. Flag Panzers doing some damage at distance to those uh, to those conscripts. Oh my God! A very nice artillery barrage falls right on top of the Flag Panzer and finishes it off. Another uh, artillery round coming in this direction. This Flag Panzer is in a lot of trouble. Main gun destroyed. Can it actually make it out alive? This shot is coming straight at him. Jesus manages to move out of the range. Wide lucky flag panzer right there. And a uh, flag gun also in the area. Does get turned around trying to focus on the uh, KV-1s. The KV-1s did take a little bit of a beating, but they look to be fine. And the, uh, the flag gun is right out of of its range. And there's a Bruma there for support. So Soviet forces have pretty much managed to equalize the points for the most part. It's about 230 to 290. I think that's what it says. I can't actually see quite well. Let me do a little quick adjustment. It's 233 to 287, if I'm not mistaken. So still in the favor of the German forces, but the Soviets have managed to bring it a little bit closer than they would have wanted it. Some more artillery rounds fall in in this area. Looks like it was a uh, Bruber shot though, maybe. Right hand side we see the forces of Mister pushing forward, uh, killing an MG42. Tiger in the area trying to stop these uh, Soviets from pushing, but with... Well, a nice shot there by the Tiger gets a crew shock on the uh, KV-1. Second shot gets a nice penetration and the KV-1s just bounce their shots. This uh, stolen pack gun might be needed to uh, push up a little bit forward if they want to do some nice damage. Although the Tiger does move into range, gets shot by the uh, pack gun. The KV-1s return fire, but haven't actually managed to penetrate the armor. Pack gun does get a nice penetration on the frontal armor, starting to do some damage. There it goes, starting to snowball on the damage now. And the Tiger pops the smoke, realizing this, and breaks the line of sight. 
center of the map we have a one man conscript squad being very forward very bold very risky uh, the uh, flag flag I mean uh, not flag pack gun did get taken out completely there with as much artillery as the uh, Soviet forces has it wasn't gonna last that long and another storm is coming so we're gonna see another lull in the fight German forces pretty much battered right now. They are licking their wounds. We have a tiger on the left-hand side trying to cover this victory point, keep it in their possession. Victory point in the center did get decrewed, so it doesn't have a lot to choose. I mean, uh, there's not uh, any ticking going on right now. And we see a strong push on the left-hand side by Hell Rider. Very nice. Uh, conscripts and SU-85s moving into the zone with a conscript squad picking up a dropped Panzer Shrek. So very nice. That's going to help him out quite a lot. Always does. And here we go. The uh, SU-85s are moving into the zone. The uh, Tiger does find one and it's now hitting its rear armor. There is an MG bunker right there that the SU-85s are trying to take down. But the um, Tiger is behind them. Although it only took one shot, it's not moving to engage. And the blizzard hits limiting the side range so the Tiger is not able to shoot at it any it longer. Center of the map now controlled by uh, Johnny Rico. And Mr. Old so sen sending his very weak uh, conscripts to capture. So the ticking is now again in the favor of the Soviet forces. So it's getting that much closer every time. Right hand side we have Pack Gun. This is a Maxim machine gun. And two KV-1s just getting repaired for Mr. Conscripts getting shot at by Panthers it looks like. And the Tiger getting surprised on the rear armor with both 18-8s, I believe. There we go. Very nice 18-8. Actually gets a crit on the um, on the engine. And we see a stolen SU-85 of Mr. Rommelberg, or Lofi Rommelberg. Uh, but unfortunately, it's focusing on the wrong thing. And the uh, SU-85s from Hellrider should finish it off. They say, you know what? You don't deserve that. You don't know how to use it. We're going to kill it like it should have died originally. A glorious heap of flame. So the Tiger doing quite a number on these conscripts, taking out both squads quite handily. Uh, does get uh, damaged on the engine and a little bit damaged by that Panzer Shrek. So the SU-85s could potentially clear it off, but they don't want to move into its line of sight. So an artillery barrage is being called in right on top of the Tiger, trying to flush it out, trying to force it out of the zone, but quite unnecessary losses there for... Um, for Hell Rider, I guess he was trying to force the uh, Tiger to move out and get into the side range of the SU-85s. Katusha Barrage falling right on top of the victory point, trying to force away that Flag Panzer and the uh, German forces. Two Pioneer squads going to try to repair that Tiger. They almost get hit. Actually, they do get hit by the Katusha, but only lose one man, so they will be able to repair it quite handily. Right hand side, we see Mister just pushing on forward, actually laying down mines now. Very nice there. And uh, center of the map, just forces holding their ground. And the worst of the major engagement is over here. We see the SU 85s going forward, trying to actually finish off that Tiger, but they're in a very awkward angle, so they're not able to clear it off. Oh my god, very nice bombing run right there, and clears out everything. The Pioneers, Tiger everything in one fell swoop so very nice move there by the soviet forces su-85s now turn around and open up on the mg bunker and take it out so once again the left is now open for the soviet forces to take there's still some armor around on the map we see a tiger two tigers here by um rommelberg but uh he's uh i guess reluctant to use them more might being laid down all over the place this is now for the german forces so it's very nice to see that center of the map we see a Panzer Grenadier squad going down in its entirety I think might have been swallowed by the uh, by the ice and one at down to two men makes it out alive and it's gonna run away strafing run goes down forcing away the conscripts but the point is still in possession of the Ger of Soviet forces so I guess they don't mind that much combined push here on the left hand side shock troops and conscripts we have the SU-85s at range just opening up on two Tigers Tigers so far just blocking or uh, deflecting the uh, the shots, not caring much about it. Still no penetration by the SU-85s. The Tigers are pushing forward. 
finally a shot goes in. Nice bombing run right on top of the Tigers. Does some good damage. But the S-35s still have a long way to go to get those guys killed. Keeps on bouncing the frontal armor. There he goes. Nice penetration. Bringing the Tiger to about half health. Now they refocus on the second Tiger. Again, bringing it to about half health. The S-35s are getting battered though. Nice. 18 8 goes there. Do damaging the armor. Or I mean the uh, engine on this Tiger. Popping smoke. Breaking the line of sight and backing off. The S-35s just as well back off. They are getting surrounded or trying to get flanked by a Panther, but the Panther, well, actually manages to get a kill on one of the SU-85s. The second SU-85 is getting stopped by the Panther and manages to back away and is now facing its forward gun to it. Can it actually finish off the Panther? It looks like, no, he won't be able to. Does get a nice shot in there. Can he move to another shot? He does, but it bounces off. Oh my god, very nice shot there by the ISU. Two ISUs on the field for... Um, for Johnny Rico, managed to get a nice shot on the Panther, crippling it, and down it goes. I'm not mistaken, those, those are the ISUs, right? Yes, ISU. Sorry about that. And there we go. Okay. <coughs> Just had to check. <laughs> Wanted to make sure I wasn't mistaking it but for the ISU. So anyway, so two ISUs for Johnny Rico, doing quite a number on all the German forces. They have not uh, gotten veterans even so far. Well, actually, one of them has been one. Katusha also opening up barrages in the center, trying to push away those Panzer Grenadiers. Rockets landing everywhere, ISUs shooting, conscripts getting pinned down all over the place. There is a... Th oh, there's a uh, Panzer Trigger right there that I'm pretty sure the conscripts want to steal. Steal it, steal it. Come on, Johnny Rico, just pick it up. Pick it up right there. You know you wanna... I get too invested in that kind of thing. Anyways, so... Engagements all across the center is pretty much. Well, just in the center, not all across. The eye is used for uh, Johnny Rico pushing forward, doing some nice damage to all the German forces. We have a pack 43 gun trying to get set up, but it got cleared out uh, from its pioneers that were building it, so it's incomplete. And the conscripts still in the center haven't actually picked up that uh, Panzer Shrek. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Conscripts pushing forward. Katusha barrage is falling right on top of the pack gun that's getting constructed. Artillery barrage is also falling in right on top of it. This Panther is a little bit of a uh, bad spot. Nice shot goes in right there by the ISU. Clears off that pack gun. KV-1 pushing forward, now going straight for the Panther. Panther's exposing his rear armor, so it's in a very, very bad spot right there. KV-1 shots landing, doing a lot of damage. Flag Panther moving forward, trying to maybe distract the KV-1s, you know, redirect its fire. Maybe that's a good choice, but uh, the best KV-1s getting uh, shot at by the Tigers are now having to back off. Conscripts pushing forward, trying to get an 18-8. On that Panther, they are going to be able to throw the 18-8. Doesn't actually crit, it only deflects off the front armor. And the SU-85 is not able to shoot at that Panther. So the KV-1 is going to go down quite unfortunately. Conscripts pushing forward, getting battered by all the armor, get killed off by that Flag Panther. And very nice shot there by the ISU. The ISU is a little bit too forward, needs to back off. It's getting engaged now by a Tiger. Back it off, back it off. Oh, we see a bombing run right on top of it. It gets a shock crew. They are now stunned. And here comes the Tiger. The ISU is going to fall down very quickly to these tanks. Look at that damage go down. Main gun destroyed. Still trying to back off. And there it goes. Conscripts in the center. Still haven't picked up that Panzer Shrek. Needs to pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. It can help you in this fight. Major push here by the German forces into the center of the map. We see Tigers everywhere. Black Panther is just ripping the infantry to shreds. Pioneers following up for support and repairs. And they're just drilling all the way into the enemy base, it looks like. Look, they're going so forward. This Tiger is very low in health. has actually lost its gunner already. And the conscripts are retreating all over the place. They didn't pick up that Panzer Shrek, quite unfortunate. And look at that. The German forces are pushing all the way into the base, it looks like. KV-1 on the left-hand side, taking some shots on the rear armor of all the German forces. This Tiger is still alive. Very low in health. The Katusha is backing off, trying to get out of the range of any of these armored vehicles. Looks like it's actually going to fall, though. Tigers are now in the enemy base. 
Opening up on all the infantry. Look at that shot. Look at that damage. Very nice. Tiger's still very low in health, but still unopposed. Katusha Barrage is going down. ISU is also on the field. It's going to open up on the... On what? Anything? It needs to set up and shoot. It needs to line itself to be able to shoot. Otherwise, these Tigers are going to just wreck everything. And down goes one Tiger. Very nice. AT Gun's getting harassed by the Tiger and the Flag Panzer. They are going to get decrewed. This is a Vet 2-1, which is quite unfortunate. But the ISU is opening up on this Tiger, doing some very nice damage on the frontal armor. Can it actually finish it off before it takes out the Vet 3 artillery gun? Artillery falling down by the Soviet 1. It actually turned around and tried to lay a shot on the Tiger, but it didn't manage to bring it down. Artillery gun did get cleared out, but it hasn't gotten destroyed, so the Soviet forces could uh, retake it. ISU still backing off. It's turning around, trying to get a shot on that Tiger. It bounces off. Quite unfortunate. Could actually finish it off if he might have gotten that shot. Conscripts pushing forward onto the Tiger. They're probably going to try to get an 18-8 off of it. ISU takes another shot and misses. Quite unfortunate. How are the rest of the tanks doing? Everything has gotten cleared out, apparently. We have a Tiger just crawling away or backing away. This Tiger is still very low in health. Gets a main gun destroyed shot by the ISU, it looks like. Flag Panzer opening up now on the other AT gun. It might be able to clear it off, but the ISU is in close pursuit. We'll probably be able to take out the Flag Panzer before he gets off of range. Flag Panzer still doing the number to the crew on the AT gun. Finishes it off. The Tiger that went out of the base is uh, moving up now. Helps out clear out that AT gun. I mean, that uh, artillery gun, but the ISU takes a nice shot to it, clears it off. Tiger takes a final shot to the AT gun, destroying it completely, but is now getting shot in the rear by an ISU. It pops smoke to try to break line of sight, but the IS, I mean, the SU-85, that is, is actually quite nicely in range. Now flanked by a KV-1. This Tiger is not going to be able to make it out of there. The SU-85 needs to move on forward and take some shots at the Tiger. And there it goes. It is moving forward. We have another bombing run probably going right on top of the KV-1. We'll be able to clear out the... No, it's an artillery barrage. And down goes the Tiger. Combat Engineer does move out of the range. Another time, The other Tiger is trying to sneak past the KV-1, but it has a destroyed engine, very low in health, and gets taken out by that KV-1. So, so, yeah, I mean, that was a Hail Mary, basically, by the German forces. And it didn't work out. Didn't pan out. They suffered too many losses and suffered all their uh, tanks down. Basically, what do we have left? The Tiger in the middle of the field? Is that it? We have another Tiger getting called in right now. But we have one ISU, one IS, two ISUs. SU-85 getting produced. KV-1 in the base. KV-1 outside. SU-85 over here. Yeah. I don't think that was a favorable uh, move for the Germans. It was a nice attempt, though, but it doesn't look like it panned out. Grenadiers getting harassed in the center by the ISU, down to two men each. We do see a barrage getting called into the center. Probably a strafing run, I would assume. No, it was an artillery barrage, but it doesn't manage to catch those conscripts. And somebody took that, uh, that panzer truck. <laughs> Tiger going into the center. Now it's now going to get shot at by the ISUs. One ISU here. Where's the other ISU? It's over here. And KV-1 is pushing on the right-hand side. It's going to get a nice flank on this Panther. Panther's also going to get shot at by the ISUs. Now they're a little bit too out of range. Would have been nice. Panther though does back off and notices that it cannot actually go toe to toe with the KV-1 unless it can flank it. But uh, we now see a strong push into center by the SU-85s and conscripts of Hell Rider going up against the Tiger. They're trying to get an 18-8 on it, but doesn't actually crit. SU-85s looks like they might be wanting to push forward. The nice barrage there actually takes out that. Uh, that uh, flak gun. We have an artillery gun on the field for the Germans. That's probably going to get taken out. SU-85 is pushing forward against the Tiger. Tiger goes down. And the last Tiger is now very low in health. Can he actually make it? 
down to 100 points for the German forces. So it looks like the Soviets have managed to break, break in the German back. And look at that. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much focused right here in the center. Not much on the left-hand side. Bombing run goes in by the Soviet forces. Tiger trying to back away from the KV-1. Pop smoke. Breaking the line aside a little bit, but the KV-1 is just going to chase it down into its base. And I think that's actually going to be it. KV-1 is now going to be going into the German base. We have no Panzer Shreks uh, to speak of. There is a Panther very low in health. Tiger very low in health. The KV-1 can actually take him out at the same time. Tiger goes down. Another Tiger does get called in. But... Well, the KV-1 does get taken out. So, I mean, I guess there's that. But... I just don't see what they can do. German forces trying to repair that Panther as desperately as they can. Everybody mixed in. Tiger going forward. KV-1 moving back in to intercept. With the second KV-1 following up behind it. These KV-1s are quite beastly, actually. And that's it. Play back over. So not exactly sure what or who threw in the towel at this point, I suppose. But yeah, that's it. The uh, German forces got decimated at the end. And the Soviets managed to pull out a win. So yeah, let's get away from that guy because it's going to do a lot of noise. Uh, let's just go... And over here. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, wow, that was, that was a pretty good game. Pretty good game. I liked it. A lot of back and forth fighting. It was looking a little bit dicey for the Soviet forces there, here and there. But uh, yeah, they managed to pull it off. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description below. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.